This is the intro. Any minute now. It's going to finish aging. Come on. You're the last block. Been standing here for five minutes. Come on. Epic intro. It's going to change right now. It's going to change. If you watched the last episode of my Hermitcraft series, you'll know that we're aging copper because I have the copper permit. Dang it. It still hasn't aged. But let me tell you this, aging the blocks with one already aged underneath makes a huge difference to the speed at which they age at. And that has enabled me to just put a ton of these blocks underneath our aging platform. Apparently not the ones on the back here. When we're ready to scale this up in the future, we can have multiple platforms like this. But there is a long way to go and I've got other things that I've been working on in the meantime. You might notice that I'm mining these blocks relatively fast. That's because I've got haste too. We have this beacon down at the bottom of our honey block elevator to thank for that. If you recall the last episode, I was underground caving for all of that copper that you've just seen fully oxidized. And I was trying to get iron for that beacon too, which turned out to be a futile effort. This is when I realized that I am a colossal derp. You know this, I'm just reminding you. Don't think I'm ever going to change. Look at this hat on my head. I am the Minister of Idiots. And there was also a Minister of Steel. I completely forgot that Hypno's role in our community was to make an iron farm that we could all share. And this is it right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the decoration of this room. This is the catchment area for the iron golems. And over here are auto-crafted iron blocks. And the amount of them is just absurd. And this iron farm has four cells of villagers behind chains. It breaks the line of sight with the zombie on occasion, which scares the villagers and causes an iron golem to spawn. The water area up the top will just drop those down to the bottom, where there is a killing chamber of lava and soul sand and that's so that the hoppers below can pick up the iron. And then that stuff gets auto-crafted into the iron blocks. It is a really cool farm and Hypno's done an amazing job here. So thank you very much Hypno for all of this fantastic iron. So welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 10. I hope you all are enjoying it. And if you are, please do subscribe to the channel. The last couple of videos I've mentioned that we've had loads of new subscribers. So welcome aboard everyone. And I'm going to start this episode off by telling you that I had some plans for Season 10 that I completely scrapped. When we all jumped into this world together, I had a big plan. But then, I don't know, the magic of this community just started to unravel and it went in a totally different direction. If you are in any way curious at all, there's a video all about it on my Asuma Says channel where I have a bunch of talky videos about various topics. And the latest one is about my plans for Season 10 that I ended up scrapping once the season begun. So after you're done with this episode, that might be something that you want to check out. Anyways, we are starting this episode off with a redstone project and a bunch of clips from other hermits too, because I've been busy and you'll see as we walk into this room that I've been tidying it up, working on the aesthetics of the ceilings, the walls, all these little edges here and there. There are many details and new blocks to observe. This over here might just be my favorite area. It is looking gorgeous and behind there is a bee farm that I am yet to activate. I thought that I was going to be needing a lot of hoppers for this project, hence letting you know where we're now getting our iron from. But due to space constraints with the amount of room to put this contraption in, we actually had to pivot to using water streams and that meant we needed some ice blocks. Scott, I'm, I'm in the area looking for a mothball, right? But as I say it out loud, is, is that hanging thing there the mothball of Mumbo? Yeah, but there's cheap, kind of poor quality packed ice in there. Let, let, me, let me help you out, Azuma. Oh, okay, you got packed ice too. You've been reading chat. Oh, I got the good stuff. I got the, I got the, the hand grown stuff. Uh, stuff I that, see. You, that the freshly grazes farmed. in the Himalayas. You're mm. out there yourself on the ice with your saw. Yeah, I'm doing some redstone with water streams and it's like, oh yeah, I don't have, uh, don't have ice. Oh, I've got gotcha. you. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was cool. What set that off? Skulk sensor oh, somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? What, what would make a sound like that? Oh, take wow. Take what you need. Look, I, I'm, I'm just going to take, uh, is four okay? Oh, take, take, take six. Take six. Okay. Yeah, just in case, you know, just in case I have an accident. 
My my inventory is absolutely full right now. Someone just took my horse. Someone just what? took my horse. Tango. Here, let me shoot him. Let me shoot him. Wait, 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 wait don't shoot, don't shoot, Nintag. I didn't take your horse. Wait, Look, where's my horse? Oh, Nintag. Oh. oh my god, guys. I was... Don't you dare shoot my horse. Oh, now, now that I see, your horse is definitely different. Like, different, different, like a brownish tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. I, guess. I just thought you came over here to troll us. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm over here to talk to this guy. Oh, yeah. No, he Keeper, was he Keeper, was thinking about just, moving the mail system yeah, by himself. Like, that's not why a good I'm idea. here. The mailbox police. Mailboxes. Yes, that's right. This season of Hermitcraft, we have a mail delivery service, and I'm certainly in need of a mailbox. Look at this incredible building here. Uh-huh. This is the postal service building. This is such a cool build, and I'm hoping... What? A certain someone is. Who's that? Oh, oh! I've I've been met by a purple-faced ranger. Hi. <laughs> it's the mail Hello. lady. <laughs> I am indeed the mail lady. Welcome to the post office, sir. What can I do? Oof. This place is fantastic. I Thank would you. love uh, my own little post box. Your own little post box. I'll tell you now. Uh, it may not be little. This is this is this is the size right here, isn't it? That's it. That's right. Do you want to follow me real quick? You can come sure. and have a look at the scope of how big this thing is and see if you still want to follow through with it. <laughs> I, I do. I've actually already done my research. <laughs> uh, okay, I have, so you already know about this. Yeah, I have a very tight spot to squeeze this redstone into, so I made sure okay. it would all fit in advance. And now I just oh, need the experts beautiful. to come along and install it, because if I tried to copy this, I might make a mistake. We hopefully should be good then. Shall we go have a look at the spot you wanted? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, All right, let's have a look. How did we? <laughs> how, wait, where did we get <laughs> that side? Okay. I don't. I feel like I need to make this uh, access point a little prettier if I'm gonna take him. It's behind there, but you know, it's fine. It works. It works. It just there's yeah. a high likelihood of getting confused, if, especially if you're uh, me. So, what's your uh, primary mode of transport around the server at the moment? Oh, it's my mule. I really want to. I really want to like embrace the horses. Yeah, I agree. I'm the same. I don't feel any inspiration to get an elytra right now at all. Um, same. I do need shulkers though, so the end is inevitable. That's a pretty fast mule you got there. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. I'm confused. It's like uh, guiding an NPC back to the quest location right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta. I gotta show you something because I think. Walk. I think in order to embrace the horses, what we have to do is put uh -huh. up little horse stables that you park your horse in and they can't get out of a hundred percent i want to add parking at the post office because you know th that's also going to be the place where people are gonna like get me to deliver parcels that might be too big for the mailbox wink wink and uh sell i'm gonna be selling stamps there as well it's a place where people can come and get their stamps uh, so you need time, like a parking so. spot okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna introduce exactly. you to a little bit of technology then here we go Ooh, right this is where my hello. horse is yeah so you ah, feel yeah. free to park here on the left. Oh, I love that you've got a space for it. That's uh -huh. great. Yeah, because his hitbox, his hitbox is too tall to walk out of it. That's right. Yeah. So what? Like, even though oh. you can go through it, the way it's uh -huh. looking at it is like there's a block here and there's a block there, and it yeah, can't go through yeah. that gap. But actually, it can because it can go over the slab. So it'll never yeah. pass find out of there. I love that. That actually that looks so much better than holes in the ground. It really does. <laughs> There's only one way they can it. get out, which is this is something uh -huh. nudges it. So you can only ever yeah. park like one horse at a time. But little mm -hmm. stable buildings throughout the server, I think could look so cool. They could like match the theme of the area around them and give us a real I like agree. transport network. <laughs> that would be beautiful. I think everyone's close enough this season that these are honestly really nice. There's such just something about this world that's like, I don't want an elytra. I'm yeah. happy with my little mule, you know? I don't want to fly. <laughs> So I said I did my research, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's and, right. And now you can see... Oh, it's this here! Yes. Oh, I see. There is a slight, oh, yeah. there is a slight caveat. Um, this block, if mm -hmm. it's a target block, allows me to then hook up other redstone to it. So I've just left okay. that there. If you communicate that to Tango or Aoife, I don't know who's setting it up, then they'll mm -hmm. know just to leave that as is, and then I can do more stuff of it. Because I think what I'm going to do is on the uh -huh. little platform above is like put some sort of signal indicator, like maybe campfire signal. And then when right. I've got mail, 
I will see it from you further away. It. Yeah. Ah, like instead visually. of just listening out for it. Okay. Yeah. And so you said you've done your research. So I'm assuming this is a spot that you've calculated is not going to impact the system where the system needs to go. Yeah, the, it just squeezes into all this space. And then down here, mm -hmm. like this basement area is, this can be ripped up. Oh, yeah, very, very nice. You're, you, you, you're getting all, like, it all advanced out here. Elytra, haste beacons, farms galore. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, usually I... usually I'm, like, even further along in the tech tree by now, but um, <laughs> this is me taking Too it easy, apparently. <laughs> I literally just enchanted my gear two days ago. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I did yeah. that day one. I mean, like, with an enchanter that is. I had a couple of books from villagers here and there just to sate me in, until that point. I mean, look at All this. right, show off with the nether, right? Show <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, oh, let's, let's pop up. Bam. Gotta oh, love I that. love that. And I'm totally going to take inspiration from this. Ah, if my ping would allow it to work. There we go. <laughs> your, uh, your donkey's sitting right here as well now. Oh. And you can probably compact that too. If you make it just like a two by two, then it would still fit as well. So you can it would, yeah. It even further. Although, although like um, aesthetics, I think, as well. Because you could make it bigger mm -hmm. if you wanted to put more details and stuff in there. So I was just working yeah, with the space I had, but yeah, we 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 got to talk about that. We got to maybe we should like form a committee, find some other people who are interested, and then we go oh, around and we build all the little stable committee. Yeah, a stable <laughs> committee. I love. Do you West, know who? Do you know who's a fan of that? Is <laughs> that was a Joe oh, Hills pun was... right there. Was it? That, I mean, Joe comes up with so many puns. Like, <laughs> well, now it's a pearl pun. See, it's a pearl, pearl pun. pun Love it. A little, bit, little nice. Yeah, Love the pearl it. pun. A stable it's committee. Stability running rampant. <laughs> That's great. What I'll do when it's installed, I'll give you a full rundown of how it works with all the stamps and all that kind of. Good oh yeah, I'm gonna need all of that too, aren't I? <laughs> you will. Yeah. So you'll get all those once it's installed. Wonderful. Um, now, of course, this is in phases. So when it gets installed, you'll get the stamps for the mailboxes that are currently active. But you will get constant deliveries as each phase happens with oh, okay. the first batch of stamps. So this is where our own mail post box is going to be. This spot right here. And it's been really satisfying because it's been a challenge to fit in redstone contraptions when your build is already predefined and your space is limited. So now we've used all the space back there for the honey farm and the mailbox is going to fit snugly into this space. It has been really satisfying. Now, as you know, I needed some ice and that's because we're working with water streams. In order to fit this all in and farm all the different types of honey stuff from the beehives, we needed to go with this method. So somewhere tucked away in this mess of redstone, there is the auto crafter for the honey blocks. Oh, look at that. You can just about see it down here. And it's also not been configured. So I'm glad I noticed that. What it does is it spits out both the bottles and the honey blocks into this water elevator, but then runs them back over these hoppers here. They're currently full with glass bottles. And I have these because I went over to the desert and filled up a couple of shulker boxes full of sand. So I've been mining, I've been smelting, and now we've got all the bottles we need. So in theory, once a dispenser uses a bottle, it's going to go through, up, and around, and then come back over the top, and there'll be space for it up here. It'll be very interesting to see if that ever breaks at any point. On the opposite side, we've been using more of the iron from Hypno's Iron Farm to make a whole bunch of shears. I don't really have like a refilling system here. If I really wanted to, I could put some chests on top. So we have three cells for honey bottles on one side, Free for the honeycomb on the opposite. Uh, but at the moment, all of those hives are inside of this shulker box. Now, getting the beehives in can be an absolute nightmare because the second that I place them, the bees are going to want to come out of here. And I had an idea to maybe put a block in front of them, like a slab, so they couldn't get out. But then how do you break the slab and close the trapdoor in time? It's the same old problem where something might go wrong. Now, bees do not come out at night time and the sun is setting. So this is a perfect opportunity to place these. Okay, the moon is rising. This should be enough time for us. I am a little on the cautious side, so I'm going to do that quickly. But no, look, it's perfectly fine to do this at night time. Okay, we're almost there. The next thing to wonder is, will this actually work? Because I've put together all of the redstone, <laughs> except for one bit there. 
basically something could go wrong so like let's wait and see what happens and i guess while we wait i did have another visitor while i was working on this project hello oh we have a visitor in the area hi hello how are you sir i i am good how are you i'm just fine have you done something to your fancy. face <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you've done something to your face. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. My friend Exuma Void noticed. <sighs> Not everyone has noticed, it's, you know. <laughs> it's like subtle. It's like the sort of change where you don't know what's different, but something definitely is. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I got a reclining side of hairline. Oh. And I've shaved my beard a little bit. I'm, I'm doing this to see who... who uh, spots it. <laughs> Who's got a keen eye, right? So far, only you and stress. Oh my goodness, it's a slab hairstyle. Yeah, so, yeah. The, the... <laughs> that, that's like that's like the Minecraft equivalent of a bowl cut. You've got a slab cut, my dude. <laughs> a slab cut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the gift was more a uh, uh, a distraction oh. just to have a reason to come over and see oh. if you noticed. I but, see. Uh, yes, I see. Thank you. Here's a, here's a stack of rockets because uh, sometime soon, sometime in the future, we will get a rocket shop. I have a hunch that Iskow has the rocket permit. Anyway, let's talk about the bee farm. It's been running very successfully, getting lots of honeycomb, not as much honey blocks, of course. And this has actually been failing to some extent. Let's go and have a look at this hopper. It has remained at 14 since I've made a change. The other ones are full, by the way. Well, they were last time I looked. Uh, that's not so good either. So, bottles are actually popping out, but not at the crafter. They seem to pop out around this one and land in the space around it, which is why I removed the composters. Oh, look at that. An empty glass bottle went in. Oh, it's popping out empty ones here for some reason. Oh, interesting. Oh, and there's my cobblestone. So I decided to get the replay mod and then keep an eye on this spot here, which is the beehive. We're sort of looking inside it. And right as it gets to the fifth level, you saw those particle effects, but we saw no water bottles. So yeah, I would walk over here and pick up a water bottle from alongside it. But since I've removed all the blocks around it, that's not happened. And it looks like we're not losing any more bottles. But yeah, I don't think that's a flaw with my redstone. If there is an issue there, I just think it's a Minecraft bug. So an update on the copper farming situation. All of that organically mined copper has been aged. And I have now set up a little extension for our shop area over here. I literally just threw a few copper blocks on the ground, sort of built a framework around it, added a few trees, put in the details, the permit. You know, it's simple, but it's looking cool. And here's the rate we're going to sell these things at. 16 blocks for one diamond. And of course, in the future, you know, when we got farms and automation, we'll bring the prices down. But yeah, that's all but one of our hermit permit items now on sale. And I am actually looking to trade my other hermit permit. But that's something we're going to arrange in another episode. So we're going to need more copper. And I've just spent a bit of time doing some caving and getting all of this right here. My question for you is, how long do you think it took to get that much copper? It took me just half an hour of caving into fresh caves. And well, I guess there's a little bit more in this waterlogged thing. Anyways, I am heading back up to the surface now to smelt all of this stuff up. And where have we surfaced any... Oh, <laughs> all right, Loglands is just over there. This, my friends, is the sound of smelting. We got so much of it to do. Yeah, I'm really thinking, uh, you know, if I'm going to grab more of this stuff manually, some sort of smelter setup will be good, you know? Because I'm just basically using all of the coal that I just got. Oh, so much copper. So much copper. At least placing it is a little easier now. And slowly we will inch our way forward to creating a second aging platform. I think this basement room is going to end up being like our copper aging room. Oh, and I've been working on the space up above. You might notice the ceiling looks slightly different. So let's head up the honey baiter. I don't think I've said that before. The honey baiter. It makes so much sense. Look at this. Okay, this room now looking real nice. And then, wow. Oh, 
So cool, right? I had to lower this floor down by one to get this effect. The lighting is safe in here, by the way. The floor over here looking gorgeous with some details. And dang, it's really turned out nice. But there is one finishing touch. We actually got sea pickles there. And I was surprised that they weren't lit. And that's because there isn't actually a water source block there. So when we put that in, it lights it up. And I think I might make a few changes now, like removing this light source here. But I am done with my detailing today and very happy to get another slice of the base complete. Although I do feel like there's room for more details in here. You'll probably notice things changing around the base all the time. Like last episode, I just started the episode around here and walked around because I'd spent some time like adding all sorts of little things here and there. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. There'll always be little tweaks and changes around the base. But that brings us to the end of the episode today. Dearly hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like. And if you want to check out that Asuma Says video, it'll be linked in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.